Hello and welcome to the next episode of Random Truck Simulator 2, I think I've called it. I think in the last episode or the one before, I'm getting confused. Um, actually, the sound didn't record. Um, maybe that's a good thing. Or the sound of my voice, I should say. Anyway, let's have a look at how many companies we have available to us. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, <laughs> I'm going to avoid seven, that, that seventh one. No, I'm going to include it for the moment just because. We're going to go one to seven and then we'll talk about things shortly. Okay. So it's one to seven. I'm hoping seven doesn't come up. I'll explain why uh, later. Um, let's see. It's five. Okay, that's good. Yes, yeah, so five is this one. Um, so it could be Valencia, which is fine. It's quite a few. Swansea, I'm not going to include. I, I, I'm not going to take a really long ferry journey. That's not what I do. So forget about that. This could be Santiago. Or it could be Portugal. Or it could be Dijon. So that's fine. I'm going to choose one of these randomly. Um, they're not about to expire. So yeah, we just randomly choose one um, and we're going to get moving. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just not prepared to take a really, you know, a long ferry from, from Spain over to the UK. That's just silly. It's, 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 a, it's a you know truck simulator it's all about driving it's not, it's not about teleporting for me and I wouldn't have done um, there was a job to Sudan that you just get a ferry from Valencia all the way to Sudan right it was, it was as if that's realistic so I'm not wouldn't be doing that wouldn't have done that one either um, anyway how far it's just four kilometers to go here yeah, right. So it looks like we're going to be, well, we're definitely going to be staying in Iberia, like the Iberian map. It looks like we're either going to be, well, we're definitely going to be staying in Spain or going to Portugal. Most likely we're going to be staying in Spain. But there was that one option available in Portugal, which would be nice. I've never been to Portugal, ever, ever, ever on this game even before this series. This is a very long two kilometers. Look at that, it's staying on two kilometers, it doesn't move.
I have to say, the t this town's a little more city, a little bit disappointing. It's not like much here. It's very basic. You have arrived at your destination. Your route guidance is now finished. So let's have a look at the options then. So Gijon, Guarda in Portugal, Santiago, Valencia. So if we, if we, it's one gone. Oh no, no I think that was it. that was it. There were five. Yeah. So yeah, even though we've increased our um, kilometer range to one thousand kilometers, there's nothing <laughs> anywhere near that. Um, so I'm going to be doing one to four. Like I'm not going to include Swansea, um, as I've already explained. So yeah, it's going to be numbers one to four. Let's see what we get. Okay, let's just change this. So one to four. And we have got three. So we're staying in Spain. Because I remember Portugal was number two. Um, can't remember where it is though. Somewhere in Spain. Number three. Okay, let's um, do this then. It was number three that came up. So that is Santiago. Okay, so in the very sort of far north west of Spain. Okie dokie, let's do it then. Oh. You're about to set, okay, you're about to set for a heavy haul job. Review your current truck to make sure it's up to the task. Okay. Um, ooh, this could be a problem. Um, heavy cargo, it's pretty low. It's essential. I'm going to go for it anyway. I'm not going to mess around at a GPS, um, sorry, at a shop. I'm going to go for it. You will have to do. I do remember, like, I have done this before. Like, the, when I wasn't filming for YouTube, the same thing happened. And my truck wasn't <laughs> up to it, like, with this one. But everything was okay in the end. There, was no, there were no huge issues. It just meant we kind of had to go quite slowly. Well, I mean, when I say go slowly, like the, it was difficult to <laughs> to pull um, the trailer. So just kind of my top speed was pretty slow. So probably the same thing will happen here. I have to hope there's not much uphill with this or bends. Although so far in Spain, there's been a lot of uphill um, movement. Let's do this. Oh dear, this could be a problem. Let's hope it's going to be okay. Um, let's check the routes first of all. I, won't, I don't want any dodgy route. Like, it looks pretty straight to be fair, which is good. Looks like it's all motorway traffic. I, I don't know. I, I don't think we're going to have a problem with this, based on the the way the route looks. But who knows? It's not too far. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go for it and hope for the best. So far, so good. <laughs> we're moving at least. Go 
Yeah, I've never heard of Santiago before. It sounds very sort of South Central American, Latin American. I'm sure there's a place, quite a well-known city in Latin America called Santiago, I think. That's what I associate, associate it with anyway. Watch it, mate. Idiot. <gasps> that was that car's fault. You shouldn't be pulling out. Idiot car. <gasps> Jesus, he's just gone. Oh, my God. Oh, crikey. Anyway, all right. So yeah, I can definitely feel that I'm carrying something heavier than usual. I'm kind of, not struggling, but just not getting up to speed as, uh, as fast as I usually do. That's okay. As long as I don't struggle to move. <laughs> Everything seems okay so far. Yeah, normally I'd be traveling at about 90 kilometers. Here, I'm not able to get above 80, it seems, at the moment, which is fine. Still might be overtaking at this rate. Look at this. Looks like I've. Oh no, I'm turning off. I'm going to get behind him. I don't think I'm going to need to have a rest stop on this journey, but I will double check that now. Nine hours, 48 minutes. Yeah, we're absolutely fine for, for that. Petrol. Ooh. Which I think we're going to be okay for. We'll see. I might need to, I might need to fill up towards the end of the journey.
I am finally going to overtake this uh, this lorry, little lorry. Maybe not this one though. So we've got a bridge coming up. Take this guy, he's, he's going a bit slow for my liking. Should I give it should I try? There's so many cars coming though. I don't think I will. I think I'm alright. I'll just chill out behind him. Looking at some vegetable uh, fruit. Slowing down. But I saw this. I'm going. Shit. Oh, I don't think I'm turning off. Am I turning off? I don't know. Um, keep left. No, it's okay. Keep left. They're fine. I was lucky. So if it had been to the right. I've had a bit of a bit of a problem there. Anyway, the sun's coming up now. That'll be nice to see more of the, the country of Spain properly. Cool. Yeah, I'm not overly in love with Spain from what I've seen of it in the Iberia map. It's a lot of motorways. Um, I haven't driven on many kind of, I don't know, like smaller roads so far. I'm sure there are some on there on the game, the map. I 
and the cities themselves don't seem anything amazing really but still it's all right for me it's all about getting out of western europe that's where the magic happens <laughs> So we're going to be very close to Portugal, so it would be nice if we could uh, dip into Portugal. On the next um, job. I mean, we're so deep into like Spain and Ibo and Iberia in general. It's unlikely we're going to be leaving um, the Iberian map in the next job. I suppose theoretically we could do, because we can now travel up to a thousand kilometers. So I guess if we get a job that's about a thousand kilometers long, I'm sure that would be enough for us to, to get out of Spain and maybe into France basically. Or possibly um, on the ferry from Barcelona back to um, Sardinia, which I wouldn't particularly want to do. We've seen most of the island. But again, I don't, I don't really know. I'm not sure in terms of distance-wise how far these places are. We're traveling at 90 kilometers per hour now, so there's been absolutely no issue with carrying this heavy trailer. So yeah, I've said this before in Spain, you can just sort of see the difference in the terrain, kind of the orange sandy kind of stuff, even that sort of Mediterranean, sort of southern European feel to it, sort of less greenery, less grass, should we say.
Stay in your lane, sunshine. I'm talking to myself. Why are you going so slow? Come on, mate. Ooh, that was not a good idea. Let's try again now. It's uphill. I want to pull in. I want to pull over. <laughs> Come on. Right, just keep going, keep going, keep going. And get across. There we go. What's going on? Still going really slowly. How are we doing for petrol? Just about okay. Maybe I'll get petrol at the next place, so not this one coming up, but the one after. if there is another opportunity on this journey, I don't know yet. There may not be. A very straightforward journey but I'm glad it has been because of the uh, extra weight that I'm carrying it was kind of uphill and, you know and twisty and turny I could have had some problems potentially I haven't actually seen any signs for um, Santiago. Must be a pretty small place. We keep seeing Coruña and uh, Vigo. They're places that I know through football. Um, Deportivo La Coruña and Celta Vigo.
Isn't Santiago in Chile? Two euros, is that it? That's a bargain. This could be a signpost for Santiago, potentially. Let's see. No, Vigo. Get petrol. So I will. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, should have gone in there. Doesn't matter. I'll go in. Right. So we're in Santiago. I haven't seen a single sign for it. Yeah, it's a good idea to get petrol here. That's my third time I've, had, I've got petrol. First time was in Switzerland, second time was in Spain, and the third time was also in Spain. Right, so we're almost there. Oh, Santiago has made it onto the signpost for the first time. Interesting. City like up on the hills there.
grill. Right. And have some dinner there. At the round, take the first exit. That should be part of the game, shouldn't it? Where you have to like actually get some food from somewhere. So you could maybe stop off at a petrol station or something and buy like, I don't know, some lunch there and then save it for later. But you, like, you always need to have like food on you, have money for it and stuff. Or stop over in like a restaurant somewhere. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. Almost one of those tight, narrow ones. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to go around to the right if I can. Uh, can I fit through there? Ooh. Go that way. I need to really go around there. I don't know though if I can do it. I should be able to without crashing. Good. Uh, hang on. Oh shit! You can't go round. Oh, I misjudged it. Oh god! I'm gonna have to reverse out of here. Oh fuck! I wasn't concentrating. I thought I could drive all the way round. Oh, actually, though, I do need to reverse in. It's actually not a problem. It's actually, a good. <laughs> it's actually a good decision to do, like inadvertently. So I need to reverse into this spot here. That's all right. It's probably going to work out perfectly. I think I'm in. Well, I think I'm going to make it. Going straight. Pretty much. Look at that. That wasn't what I was trying to do. I was trying to drive all the way around. Like come from that corner and then reverse it. Worked out even better in the end. Perfect. Okay, so we do have another point we need to allocate, but we'll do that later. Um, oh, we now need to drive to the um, resting point. I think there was one very, very close by. We'll just go to this one. This one. Extremely close. Let's go. I don't like this like hotel, it's very you know, it's like upgrading. What's the word? It's just the same, isn't it? Have it everywhere. Hotel, hotel. Here we go. I think generic is the word I was looking for. Okay, there we go. That's the end of the episode. Thank you for watching.